Greetings gamers, this is Rekka and welcome back to Public Gaming Community. Hope everyone is safe and excited about KOF 15. I would like to share my personal thoughts and feelings after owning the game for a couple of weeks. I would have to say I consider myself a rookie in fighting games, however, I've been told otherwise. I have followed the KOF franchise since 94 till now playing on PlayStation and in arcades. I will admit, I have played one Maximum Impact game and was quite terrified to play another one. Shifting us till today, I am excited to review KOF 15, released on February 17th and the 14th for those who pre-ordered, mind you, I did pre-order the Omega Edition and I had to wait like the commoners, unbelievable. Where was I? Ah uh, yes, I will be reviewing the game using the PlayStation 4 copy and I will break down this into three sections, visuals, gameplay, and content. Before we get into the game, I want to talk briefly about my Omega Edition. In the Omega Edition, I got some really cool art on a decent card stock. Not the best bookmark, so it will stay in the box. And I got two CDs and get this, paper pouch? I've seen other videos and people have nice cases and with Shune and Isla. <laughs> what happened, SNK? You also get the game, of course, the DLC costumes for Terry and Leona, and the DLC characters for Season 1. Okay, let's get into the game. Content. KOF 15 right out the box comes with Story Mode, Versus Mode, Tutorial, DJ Station, Mission, Gallery, and Training. It's important to know this game was created for Legacy players, meaning the gameplay would be their main focus. In story mode, you're required to choose a team of three fighters to duke it out and win the KOF tournament. The game starts with a roster of 39 characters and each character is placed in their respective team storyline. Please note that Team Rivals and Team Hero will serve as the canonical story. The game hosts returning fighters from KOF 14 and some new ones. I'll simplify this story for you. In KOF 14, the final boss verse was defeated and released a lot of dead people. New tournament by Anastasia. Who is that? Isla has powers like Shune. Okay. Isla powers goes berserk and she creates Otama Raga, or the power was inside her. I don't know. We fight to the death and Otama was placed back in her dimension or box. DN? So yeah. Not a very compelling story. After beating the game, you are rewarded with still images detailing characters' lives after Otama was defeated. The artwork is beautiful, but feels like a classic approach. There are secret teams that, if played through the story mode, will get you full music from recent SNK titles. Those songs are all played in the DJ station. Visuals. I must say, the game is a step up from KOF 14 visually. Characters seem to have more personality. This could be a testament of the Unreal Engine the game is operating on. Fun fact, KOF 14 was using an engine SNK created in-house, so there's that. Characters also have intros when they know the opponent. Why does Kyo and Iori not have a really cool flame intro? So much for the classic vibes. I would have liked to see these cutscenes when fighting with someone online or in regular gameplay. Not just in story mode. DJ Station. Here's where you can hear classic SNK songs, mainly KOF titles from 94 till now, excluding Maximum Impact. You can also create a playlist and be a DJ for your KOF experience. Unfortunately, you cannot change music for story mode. It's truly a missed opportunity. Gallery. Remember those cutscenes from all that hard work you did in story mode? Well, they're all stored in gallery for your viewing. I haven't gotten all the stories and seem to have a problem with Angel, Cronin, and Keo team. The game doesn't grant me anything when I beat the story mode with this team and I should receive 2001. If you know something I don't, leave a comment. I won't ever spend time in gallery mode considering I have a book from the Omega edition showcasing some artwork of Isla and Dolores and what they actually could have looked like. Tutorial. This mode helps newcomers understand the game combo structure, and all the new game mechanics 15 brings. Mission mode. After you broke a sweat and learned all those mechanics, it's time to take that knowledge to a character and learning their bread and butters. Mission mode lightly shares possible combos with characters. It's unfortunate that they chose to share one side of a double-faced coin, meaning they could have showed us 
way more in my opinion. But hey, we have to remember, this is a legacy game. Gameplay. KOF offers some new mechanics to help balance out the game, even for newcomers. <laughs> I laugh because that's funny that they balance such a difficult game out. Shatter Strike. The new Shatter Strike system defends against and counters attacks. I find it has saved me when using it on purpose. <laughs> I do find it accidentally happens when my inputs drop from doing a level 3. No, everyone's level 3 in this game is the same motion. Max mode and quick mode. When you have two or more power gauges, you can activate max mode showing a blue aura around you. In max mode, a character's attack and guard crush strengthens and increase, which is really a great buff, but not something I use often. Max mode quick shows a pink aura when activated, and in my opinion, should only be used if you're throwing out normals and don't want a gap in the pressure slash combo that's happening. Also, no increase on that guard crush or attack. KOF 14 had this, however, when you activate it, you have to be really quick with your next follow-up. 15 solves this issue by stopping time when you activate it. I find myself using this mode more than max mode. It's too risky for a game where meter is a necessity for an awesome looking combo. Online. This game definitely encourages online gameplay by having rank match, casual match, room match, and online training. To be honest, I don't know a lot of KOF players, so room match wasn't happening and online training was a ghost town. So ranked and casual match were definitely pretty cool. Rather not play ranked, still need to find a team. <laughs> I usually play online and I had a blast getting my butt whipped. Oh yeah, rollback is here. And I have no problems online, smooth gameplay. Overall, I am a legacy player and even I wanted more out of this game. I have a feeling SNK may take the Street Fighter V route and update the game dramatically over time. We already have 12 characters for the year. Somehow, I feel like we're in for a surprise character or two to be released alone. The game mechanics are fun to get used to and it's pretty awesome to see KOF look so pretty. Well that's all I have and thanks for sticking it out with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and tell me your thoughts on KOF. Do you love it? Too hard? Let's start that combo below.